This is a bonus video that I'm making as um, part of the Facebook series because in the last few months we've made some significant um, forward gains in our knowledge of edge rank and how you can use what you do, how you can uh, make decisions about what you publish on Facebook and how you work on Facebook to really maximize the reach of your content. So this is all about Facebook edge rank. Now it might sound like it's similar to Google's page rank. Um, it, it does have some similarities. It's a, uh, a, a broad and general um, indicator of how strong your content is or how likely it's going to get seen. So there are some similarities there. But let me explain how edge, what edge rank is and, and, and how it works. Okay, so edge rank is a pretty publicly acknowledged algorithm that Facebook have come up with and, and they've, they'll tell us how it works. And basically what it represents is your page's current popularity. They think it in, in those terms or the current popularity, the aggregate popularity of your content at this point in time. Um, important things to know is the edge rank has a direct impact on your content's reach and I'll explain how that works in a minute um, and it's based on the percentage roughly based on the percentage of people who see your content compared to how many of those engage with your content so we know what engagement is the engagement actions are like which is the the basic one the cheap one then comment is better um, tagging somebody else can be good because that can bring someone else in that hasn't experienced your page or your content before and then sharing and sharing is the the ultimate that's the one we really like because if somebody's got 300 friends or 500 friends and they share your content either on their own timeline or to a group or to a page that they manage then that's the way that your content can get to reach you know many many times more people and we've had content that reaches four times the number of people than actually like the page. So that's what's possible. That was actually boosted. I think that our best has been more like two times double the number of page likers, but that's still really, really good. So let's talk a little bit about EdRank and uh, what, you, what you need to do. You've got to understand that EdRank can drop off very rapidly. Okay, now if you think about it, you can if you've had some good content a week ago or two weeks ago, that will still count, but it loses its impact on your edge rank over time. The most recent content has the biggest influence on what your current edge rank is. So if you've put some content out earlier on today that's really popular and is going great guns and everyone's interacting with it, engaging with it, then your edge rank will be high. And that means that the next piece of content that you put out will naturally probably reach more people by default, but not necessarily reach everyone. And I'll say a little bit more about that in a minute. If you lose edge rank, you can recover it. I mean, we've seen edge rank can drop off pretty quickly over a matter of weeks, you know, from a good score to practically zero. And you, you can get it back by just carrying on producing good content. It's, it's a fair system, you know, it doesn't penalize you for long, but if you keep on putting out rubbish content, then your edge rank is never gonna, never gonna be great. Um, however, you may be forced to pay, or you may feel like it's, it may, it's a good idea to pay, if you've got a page, to boost posts so you can reach all of your likers again. Because if your edge rank is low, you may, may think that when you publish content, it's going to be seen by everyone who likes your page, but that is not the case. So sometimes it can really make a, a lot of sense to pay, you know, $20 or whatever, or pounds to, to boost your content so that the people who like your page and their friends um, can see the content. This is very important. It's probably the biggest thing you need to take away as we've said before, the quality of your posts beats quantity every time, right? Now, there are a couple of provisos to this, but 
you know, bottom line is whatever you post, you want people to like it, to share it, to comment on it, to tag other people in it, right? Engagement is really important. Do not ever post just filler crap content, okay? Because every bit of content that you put out onto a Facebook page will influence your edge rank. And if it gets very low engagement, then it will have a negative impact on your edge rank. Even if you've published three great posts that get great engagement, and then if you just do three nonsense posts that nobody cares about, nobody wants to interact with, your edge rank will not be as high as it was. You know, only post good content. Also, not posting for long periods will obviously erode your edge rank because your, you know, the influence of your good posts drops off, it tails off um, the further back in time those posts get. So it's important to keep posting good content. Now, it's probably worth um, saying something about frequency. And people will say, you know, how many times a week or how many times a day should you post on Facebook? And from our experience, there is no correct answer to that. If you post one great piece of content once a week and everybody likes it and everyone engages with it, then that will keep your edge rank pretty high. Um, at the same time, there are plenty of pages that I'm sure all of us follow where they'll post maybe eight or 12 times a day but if all of those posts get engagement, then, then that's fine. You, know, the, you can't post too often. You can post too infrequently. You know, for, you know, once every three months is not likely to reach a big audience because the edge rank will disappear over that time. Okay, So I, in our experience, once or twice a day is, is a nice balance. Okay, But obviously, it depends on your page. It depends on how much you've got to say. Okay, and it's got because it's all got to be relevant, it's got to be good, and it's got to get engagement. Very, very important tip, particularly when you're starting out with uh, trying to get a page off the ground. Never ever ask for likes from your friends, and particularly never buy fake likes. There are lots of pages out there where you can go and say, We'll get you 10,000 Facebook likes for $40 or whatever it is. Do not go down that route. Why? It's really straightforward because if you've got 10,000 people that like your page but they're not real likers, they don't genuinely like the subject of your page, then when your content gets shown to those people, if, they, if there's, they're out there in Facebook like farms and their job is just to click on as many likes per day as possible, you know, they get like a dollar for every 50 likes they click on, they're not actually on Facebook. They're not actually interacting with Facebook. They're not going to click like. They're not going to comment. They're not going to share. They're not going to tag. It's just not going to happen because they're not real likers. You only want people who are engaged. Now, if your content goes out to those people and they don't engage, what's going to happen? Your edge rank is going to be dropped to zero. And uh, we've, I can show you some examples of how this happens. Okay. So here's a little theory. It's, um, we're pretty confident this is how it works, and um, it's called tiered release. Remember we were saying that not all your likers will necessarily see all of your content. Well, here's why. First principles, all content has to reach somebody. Okay? Um, we, we, we never, even if you've got an edge rank of zero, we, we never find that you put out something and nobody sees it. Right, and you can see it when you go on Facebook. You can, if you own a page or you own a group, you can actually see how many people each post has reached. And obviously, all content must have the potential, the opportunity to go viral if it's really good. Therefore, it must be seen by some people. So, what we think happens is that Facebook uses a kind of tiered release method. So, each new piece of content will initially be shown not to everybody. It doesn't get Im immediately shown to everyone. It'll get shown to a subset of your likers, your group members, whatever. And if they like it, if they engage with the content, it will be shown to more people. If, they, if it gets lots of engagement, it'll be shown to everyone. Because Facebook, remember, Facebook's job, like Google's job, is to filter out the stuff that isn't going to be relevant to its consumers 
from the stuff that is going to be relevant to its consumers. Google does this by ranking search results in order of what they think is the most relevant and Facebook's doing the same thing. So what they'll do is they might show it to 2% or 5% of your likers. If those people like it, Facebook thinks, ah, oh, it's probably useful content. They will show it to more people, show it to everyone. Um, if they don't like it, Facebook will do, you know, do two things. It will have a, um, it will not bother showing it to everybody because it, it thinks, well, you know, a representative sample doesn't like it. We're not going to give it to everybody. And also it's going to have a negative impact on your edge rank, which means that future posts will probably have a, a lower chance of reaching everybody too. So if they don't like it, the thing will stop there. So a few tips just on managing your edge rank properly, and then I'm going to jump into Facebook and I'm going to show you Edge Rank Checker, which is a pretty nifty little tool. Obviously, tip number one, you've got to deliberately craft your content to encourage engagement, okay? Now, avoid using words that invite people to engage in your text. Some people believe that using these words, actually typing in these words, like comment, tag, share, whatever, will get filtered. They'll trigger filters in Facebook, which could then mean that your content you know, is hampered, doesn't reach as many people. However, you may be able to use those words within images because Facebook isn't going to check you know, I haven't got human beings sitting there checking every image that goes out. You might then use words like pass this on, who do you know who, for example, and those two would be, you know, good things for, for sharing or for tagging other people. Or just general questions like, what do you think? Okay, so there, we've kind of covered these things before in the, um, in the Facebook course up to this point, but it's worth reiterating, you know, craft content deliberately for engagement. Now we understand a bit more why. So now I want to show you some um, examples from Facebook, actually within Facebook, and we're going to, I also want to show you this tool called EdRank Checker. So this is a page, it's the page for Web Design from Scratch. It has 2,337 likes. Now what do we know about likes? Likes is only the, the starting point for reach, right? Because if people don't engage, those likes count for nothing. If you buy those likes um, from the, you know, the like brokers, they count for nothing and will actually harm your page. Also, I forgot to mention, when you just launch your page, don't ask your friends and family to like your page. It will not help it get a boost unless those people are likely to want to engage naturally with all of your content that you produce. Okay, so 2,337 likes, and I'm going to flick over here to EdRank Checker. This is at edgerankchecker.com. Um, this page is taking a while to load. Uh, but you can see the edge rank of the Web Design from Scratch page is practically zero. Okay, that's all we need to know right now. Why is it zero? Well, let's look in Facebook's insights. So we've got 2,300 total likes. The reach has been 17 in the last week. Okay, um, and the reasons are I've posted once on the 20th of June. So it is now the 8th of July. So two weeks ago I posted, and two weeks before that, or nearly three weeks before that, I posted. And you can see the reach, you know, wasn't great. So I'm posting to over 2,000 people, and the reach of these is varying, 35, 77. And here I did a boosted one, which reached 695 people organically, and another 462 paid. And then you know, 370, 85, things like that. So we'll look at the, the growth of likes over time. You can do this with your own. It will go back uh, up to one year. No, this is going back further because the page is older than that. So this is the growth in likes over time. So it started you know, fairly low a couple of years ago. Had a, a big boost there for some reason. So it's grown you know, pretty organically, pretty straight over that time. Let's see what's happened to the reach 
over that time. So you can see great big gaps here, month after month, when nothing is happening. Right? I'm not reaching people, and I'm not reaching people because I haven't been posting. This is not an active page. Okay, I've had some reach here, but that's reaching a thousand, which is about 40% of the likers, and most of that was paid anyway. But the natural organic reach now has really dropped down to, what's this, 69. Okay, that's what you get when you have an edge rank of practically zero. And there's a lot of pages out there, guys, have got an edge rank of zero. Let me show you Cool Gel and Cap, right? This is one of our clients. Um, we're not managing their Facebook, I have to say at this point. And these guys are posting, let's look at the content. So this is posted via Hootsuite 15 hours ago. It's reached four people, right? They've got 2,700 likes, similar to Web Design from Scratch. Scroll down, 14 people reached by this. Right, it's not compelling content. What type of mom are you? 14 people reached. Another post, 11 people reached, okay? Why is this, why is their reach so low? I'll go into Edge Rank Checker. By the way, Edge Rank Checker, you literally, you go along there, you click Login with Facebook, it connects directly to your Facebook, and it lists any pages that you've got, right? These guys have got an Edge Rank of one at this moment. A couple of days ago, it was zero. Maybe today it's zero. So that edge rank score is pitiful. It's very, very low. Why is it low? Because over time, they've posted a lot of rubbish content that people don't engage with. Let's look at reach. And we'll take it back to the beginning of the year. This is their reach over the, of the, um, since the beginning of the year. So remember 2,700 likers right now and their reach is lucky to hit 100, 150 on a normal week. There's a paid blip there, but that, that reach, is, reach is poor. And if you scroll down, look at likes, comments and shares, this is why. This is their engagement. 12 likes. That's the biggest engagement they've had. That's 12 likes, 3 shares and 2 comments. It's, that's the biggest engagement they've had all year. Right, and when you don't get engagement, you don't reach new people, and your edge rank suffers. And this is what's happening. They're going for days without engagement, and you can't do that. Let's have a look at Dougie's Meats. Now, you'll be familiar with Dougie's Meats. We actually fired this client um, about two months ago, and it's interesting to see what the impact has been. They've got 5,200 likes. Let me go into Insights. And we'll have a look at the growth of likes over the past 12 months. I'll just click on likes. And I'm going to go back to just before we started working with them. Okay, so we started working with them here, November. Jumped up from 3,000, sorry, from 600 up to 3,000, 4,000. And then when we stopped working with them around here, mid-May, um, the likes have still been creeping up, but not at the same rate as they were. Now, let's look at reach, because reach is what really matters. That's the important criterion. You can see the period when we were managing Facebook. It started mid-November, and it finished mid-May. Now, their reach, so their organic reach then, was hitting 15,000 on a day. So that's three times more than the number of likers they had. So it's regularly, it was regularly hitting over 5,000. So regularly beating the number of likers. And now it's gone down. And let's scroll down a little bit and have a look at the engagement. This is the key, right? All this activity here, all this great engagement has led to them having a high edge rank. Now, let's make a little note on what does a high edge rank look like. If you've got less than 500, maybe less than 1,000 followers, it's quite easy to get a decent edge rank, like over 50, over a score of 50. Um, as far as I know, there isn't really any limit to how high edge rank goes. It's not a scale out of 100. Above 1,000, when you get into the four figures, um, an edge rank of 20 is really good. I uh, don't quite know why that is, but I've actually spoken with the, the people who make the edge rank checker. 
and uh, that's that's what they've said basically the bigger your page gets um, the harder it is to maintain a high edge rank so I mean look at this this is the the engagement suddenly drops off because they are posting different kind of content so I'm gonna go back to the Dougie's meets page and let's look at the type of content that they've been posting okay so this is July the 5th so that's like three days ago as we said a few weeks ago we are not answering inboxes best thing to do if you've got any questions or complaints is to go to one of our vans and sort it that way we're just too busy to be sat on Facebook answering so many messages when we have meat to sell thanks for understanding right 60 people have clicked like half their audience were was reached and you know they're doing the absolute basic they're telling people where their vans are right 3,000 people reached with that one 2,800 reached with that one okay 106 people reached with this one so you can see how um, you know the more comments and shares something gets obviously the more people it's going to reach when people comment when they like when they engage it that can then mean that your content reaches more people but that's the situation with with doggies meets now let's look at their edge rank okay their edge rank is jumping between 33 and 0 okay on these last few days um, don't know if it'll let me go back in time far very far we'll see so quite confusing interface here that's uh, just on the 1st of January I think yeah it's not particularly uh, useful for that but I can tell you that the the edge rank for Dougie's Meats has been you know, 60 70 80 90 even with um, over 5,000 likers which is pretty cool now the last one I wanted to show you this one's really interesting this is actually my sister's page and it's called busy mums and right now it's got nearly 16,000 likes now the interesting thing about this is that a lot of those likes have been bought over time but if we look at the insights on this um, it will reveal some very interesting things so I'm going to click on likes and we'll see how the likes have grown over time you can see that very very flat line okay which has then since tailed off and the reason is because up until about July the 2nd she was paying for quite a lot of her likes now let's um, let's just take this back a bit over time I'll take it to the beginning of the year okay, I'll take it to December okay so we can see not much happened until March then she started buying a bunch of likes a fairly regular amount so you know Facebook will say do you want to you know, can buy you it's not actually buying likes it's what it's saying is it's you know and this is legitimate this is through Facebook we will promote your page to people who fit certain criteria and um, and you can pay to boost that page so when you're on Facebook Facebook will make suggestions to say here's a page you might be interested in and if you click on it and if you like what you see you might click like or if you like the name of the page you might just click like okay so those are legitimate paid likes and that's what my sister's been doing over this time you can see importantly here there's a gap of um, a couple of weeks 10 days where and here as well and the likes didn't really go up much okay now the reason is because suddenly something happened with her reach so I'll show you what happened with the reach at that time Okay, reach was going up and up and up and it seemed good you know getting more likes so at this point in April how many likes did we have at the beginning of April so that's April the f uh, April the 5th she had a reach of 43,000 April the 5th her likes were 3,900 okay so she had less than 4,000 likes but a reach almost 10 times that and that is organic reach okay 10 times the number of likers were reached by that and that that will make sense you know when you post good content lots of people like it and share it and their friends see it and they like it and they share it you can reach that many people that's called viral 
means the you know the average person that sees it on average will share it with at least one other person but then something happened the likes suddenly dropped off and then you know she was thinking well why should i keep paying facebook to um you know get more exposure and reach for my page if suddenly my reach has disappeared um and that led us to go on a bit of a journey and to do some exploration into edge rank and we've learned a lot of the things that we've shown today one other really useful point which i should have put on the slides is post original content this is really important post original content if all you do is reshare content that you see in your facebook feed from other pages or pinterest or whatever right like these funny e-cards or funny photos we believe that facebook can notice well, I mean, it certainly knows if you've just hit share on something, right? Um, it certainly knows that you haven't created it. Um, it may also be the case that if you simply save a photo and then upload it again as your own, Facebook knows that that is the same picture. And this is what we think is the, the, the major reason for that change. It may have been that her page grew to a certain level. You know, when she hit 5,000 likes, maybe the rules changed a bit. Or it may be that Facebook did an update to the edge rank algorithm at that time, beginning of April 2014, that meant that the, um, suddenly the, the copied content or non-original content didn't have the reach that it used to have. If Facebook knows that it's seen that thing before, it's not going to show it to everybody because it thinks, well, they might have seen it before anyway. So... What we did then was, you know, we had conversations with the edge rank guys, um, read up a lot, did some experiments, and then you can see the uh, the reach has started to climb back. At this point, she hit 90,000 people. It's 90,000 people with an organic post. You can see that there's almost no paid um, reach in all of this. She doesn't pay for reach. She's paying for likes. All right? She's paying for, for new likers. And the reach is pretty good. So, you know, she's still hitting um, 28,000 people or so just a few days ago. You know, 11,000 people then. That's so, you know, she's, she can hit now double the number of page likers with good content. So we'll have a, a quick look at, the, at some of the content. So yeah, some of this is, is reposted. That's a post of mine. Okay, this is one, um, 1,550 likers, 324 shares, okay, and nearly 40,000 people reached. That is over three times her natural number of likers, okay. There's a post about breastfeeding, 80 likes, 63 shares, right. So really important to try different types of content, see what works. So let's look just quickly at edge rank checker for busy mums. There's uh, 33 today, but you can see at this point it hit 127, right, just a few days ago. But look how quickly it then drops off to 16, then to 10, then to 5, right? Really, really important to to keep posting the good content if you keep if you want to keep reaching lots of people. So that is the the guide as far as we've got it um, with edge rank so far. Um, hope it's useful for you. So let's let's just boil this down. Create good content that encourages people to like, comment, share and tag. Do it fairly frequently because your edge rank can drop off pretty quickly. And just, you know, just do it with integrity get get people who genuinely like your page and give them stuff that they're genuinely going to like All right so uh, thanks for your time and uh, maybe wait for another video to follow in the series when we discover more but it's certainly a very brave new world with facebook right now okay take care bye